First of all, I would like to thank you guys for the opportunity. And uh, I am from SJT. SJT stands for Security and Justice for Tigrayans in Ethiopia. And SJT, together with many other uh, Tigrayan associations around Washington DC, coordinated this rally today. And as you can see, uh, thousands of people are participating in this rally. And we can say that this rally is really very successful. And the main aim, the main purpose of this rally is to bring the international community's uh, attention to the fact that uh, Abiy Ahmed, together with uh, the dictator of Eritrea, Isaias Aforki, and uh, aided by United uh, Arab Emirates drones, uh, they have waged war against the innocent people of Tigray. And we are uh, uh, rallying today to denounce this unjust war against uh, the innocent people of Tigray. Our people are now dying, they are being killed, uh, they are being bombed for no reason, for no cause, simply because they exercise their constitutional right and elected their representatives. So um, we need the international community to know that uh, a crime against humanity is being committed now as we speak. Um, there is uh, an act of uh, grave genocide that's being committed uh, uh, against Tigrayans uh, everywhere in Ethiopia, including uh, in places out of Tigray. So I think this is the main purpose why we are rallying today. Thank you so much, guys. I am very disgusted uh, beyond disbelief in today's generation 2020 that we're so, we Ethiopians were so quick to uh, point out Black Lives Matter. However, our own Ethiopians are being genocide because of their race. Uh, if anyone is talking about it's not about race, tell me about bombing schools. Tell me about, about bombing hospitals, raping children and women and elderly women running over their bodies while they're walking. Just innocent people have been killed every day, not to mention in the last two years. As far as I, you know, my concern to be a left has been an elected, you know, uh, president. However, Avi has been a transitional prime minister. Why is this so hard to understand or to exercise our rights as, you know, he told us we are able to exercise our vote. When we do, they've been punished. Innocent people have been punished. Innocent people are dying. Let's just raise our voice. This is one Ethiopia. This is not about Tigray. This is about humanity. This is just knowing what is wrong from right. Knowing that killing innocent people, just pure genocide is wrong. 
you all Ethiopian, let's just stand as one and say no killing, no war. Well, I am angry because my people back home are being bombed for no reason. Abiy Ahmed has declared a war on innocent people that have done nothing to him. And they have no way of contacting us. We don't know if they're alive or dead. And we want to know if they're okay and we want to stop the war. And I am angry because he is killing people that have done absolutely nothing to him. Could you imagine being bombed and running for your life? I have cousins, I have family that I don't know that are probably in Sudan right now. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening right now. There's schools being bombed. Uh, there's a, innocent lives are being killed for no reason. Being in the streets. There's there's no way to be in contact with anybody. Why why would you guys think we would stop? We're gonna continue fighting for our people. This is happening before because of the Tigran people did a, a election, and um, we're protesting against it. We are protesting against the bombing that's happening. A lot of people are um, uh, leaving their house, and we are here to talk about it and just to support our people to stop the war, stop the war and genocide in Tigray. Kids, they need education, they need food, they need medicine, they need to live. They don't need bombs being dropped on their city. They, they don't need violence, they don't need murder. They have a right to live.